Thank you for joining us today on Health Matters. I'm Dr. Mark Castellaw. We're talking about primary care physicians on this month's program. And my next guest is Dr. Allison Pomacala. Thank you for joining us today. Dr. Pomacala is a member of my group, the, the medical group, our group. And uh, when Dr. Pomacala joined our group, they first thought she was my daughter. And so now they, they think she's my granddaughter. But uh, anyway, we're very glad to have you. Thank you. Now, uh, one of the most important things that somebody can do uh, for their health is to do what? One of the most important things that everyone can do each year is to make an appointment for their annual wellness exam with their primary care physician. It gives you an opportunity to meet with your physician, to have some early detection of potential diseases which can improve your outcome and your overall health, and it also gives you a chance to talk about lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise and preventive strategies to keep you healthy. Now, the first question that a lot, lots of time patients have is, will my insurance cover that? Uh, what are some of the changes now with the insurance companies regarding wellness exams and, and primary care visits? Well, one thing that we're seeing with uh, most uh, insurance companies is that a wellness exam is covered under most people's plans. It's a um, separate preventive visit that generally most patients don't have uh, much or any out-of-pocket expense. Um, it is a time to discuss preventive care age-appropriate cancer screenings, heart disease screenings, as well as uh, setting up things like colonoscopies and mammograms and laboratory screenings for things like diabetes and high cholesterol. So uh, patients should not let insurance issues or deductibles or things like that stand in their way of their annual physical? Absolutely not. Most of the time um, deductibles um, don't apply to the wellness exam. It's a separate um, exam that is covered under most people's plans. Now, when people come in to get an annual exam, I know women have certain needs and men have certain uh, needs uh, of part of their exam, but what typically are the things that you check when you do an annual physical exam? Uh, well, generally we like people to come in fasting and to bring their important health history or their personal his history as well as their family's history, because um, that can play a role in what the testing um, will be. And we generally do um, screening for the heart disease, uh, such as an EKG. We'll draw some laboratory uh, work to look for things like diabetes and cholesterol and blood counts. Uh, we'll check blood pressure and check weight and talk about other lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise. Um, other cancer screenings are based on age and gender and also what is running in your family. Now, once you get all this information, I know BMG and Baptist has a, a system called MyChart. And uh, once you get all of this data accumulated on a patient, tell us about what MyChart is about. Um, MyChart is something new that is in our area uh, with BMG, and it gives uh, patients secure access uh, to their physicians via the internet. Uh, they are able to log on securely and communicate directly with their physician uh, via email. It also gives them a chance to look at their laboratory readings, make appointments, and even ask questions uh, for their physician um, if they have further questions based on their results. So this is a good portal for, you know, patients often say, say well, you know, it took uh, two days to get my reports back and uh, I haven't got a call on this or call on that. But this system would essentially eliminate that, right? It would. It would allow patients uh, to be able to log in and see their information securely. And also for things like cholesterol, which we track year to year, it'll give them an idea of what their previous uh, readings have been and, and help them keep track of how well they're doing. Allison, why are people afraid to come to the doctor for their physical? Um, some people are afraid of um, illnesses being discovered, um, and some people have concerns about getting blood draws or having other tests. Um, but it's a really good way to stay plugged in with your physician, uh, particularly your primary care physician, so they know you well, know your family's health, know your own personal health, and so you can really get a personalized uh, strategy um, to keep you uh, well and healthy. Well, one of the most important things, I think, uh, for primary care physicians is having that relationship, uh, the one-on-one -on -one relationship, and as I alluded to earlier, someone to sort of be the quarterback uh, of, of their health care. How important is it to have that personal relationship? I think it's very important, um, particularly now with all, all the health information on the internet, 
Um, I routinely have patients come in and bring questions. Um, a lot of conflicting uh, information is out there and your primary care physician can be a great resource as well. If you have some concerns about how new information or new data would apply to you personally, a lot of times they can help you navigate through uh, all of the information that's out right now. Well, excellent information and, and, and patients need to uh, understand that their physician is, and their primary care physician is their partner. Uh, partner together and trying to go through all of the issues that we're dealing with today with health care. Uh, your primary care doctor is there to be uh, your guide and to help you with, with so much information that's available. Well, thank you so much for being okay. here today and you go back to work, all okay? Right, thanks. All right. all right, this is Dr. Mark Castellall with Health Matters.